2023 Tour de France stage 21 from San Quentin to Paris, the Champs-Élysées. We're finishing on the Champs-Élysées for the 49th time in race history. And while the race is always finished in Paris, hey, take note though, next year with the Olympics in 2024, the race is finishing on the Côte d'Azur in Nice. San Quentin, where the race takes off, well, that's where many of the cycling events are happening for the Olympics next year. And that's where the velodrome is and they'll be fighting for the gold medals. Well, stage 21 will be a day for sprinters fighting for that final sprint and a prestigious one on the Champs-Élysées. There's not much of note. Early in the day, you should see parading by all the riders drinking champagne and celebrating their jerseys. Yellow for Vingago, polka dot for Ciccone, green for Jasper Philipson, and white for Tade Pogacar. There's a Cat 4 climb coming early on in the stage, about one third of the way in, but we don't expect much of a fight with Ciccone already having locked up that classification. Then a sprint as we get on the Champs-Élysées. They're doing eight laps, 6.8 kilometers on the Champs-Élysées, Place de Concorde up to the Arc de Triomphe. It's a classic one. And who's my bet to win? Well, you look out for the sprinters, Dylan Gronavagen, Benny Gourmet, and of course, Jasper Philipson, who's already won four stages, holds the green jersey in this Tour de France. And oh yeah, having won last year as well on the Champs-Élysées, so he's going in there to defend. It's gonna be a day of party and celebration, a serious day for the sprinters, but as we wrap it up, Jonas Vingago celebrating in the yellow jersey after what should be a hard-fought sprinter stage, stage 21 of the 2023 Tour de France.